Maybe you're having another baby. Maybe you get some uh, good news from the doctor. Maybe you win the lottery. What would be the best news you could ever hear today? What about this for some amazing news? You could have your sins forgiven. You could have a mansion in the sky. You could have a relationship with God. And you can know that everything you've ever done, your past, is gone forever. And it's all you have to do is come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that some good news? When I tell you that Jesus died and rose from the dead, that's amazing news. And yet many millions walk on by and they don't care at all. And yet it's there for them totally for free. Now I'm going to go here. I've got some uh, prisons here, okay? Now, I wonder if you can help me. Now, a bit of interaction. Can you recognise any of these prisons? Does anyone recognise number one? My friends over here. Do you know what that prison is? Alcatraz, that's right. Do you know any prisons? You haven't been there. No, I hope you haven't. No, exactly, yeah. And they say if you manage to escape the prison, you've got to then swim across the cold waters in the water, the shark. Okay, so, uh, great one. Yeah, it's a lose-lose, that's right. What about number two there? Look, people going by, I'm asking you, do you recognise any of these famous prisons? Do you recognise number two? A bit closer to home now. The toppies outside of it. Is it in London? It's in London, yeah, that, the clue's in the name. It's the Tower of London where the crown jewels are kept, I think, okay? So that's number two. For those of you going by in South, what I'm asking you, can you recognise any of these famous prisons? We've got Alcatraz, Tower of London, number three. Now we really are getting closer to home. Number three, do you recognise this one? Manchester. Manchester, do you know what it's called? Uh, You'd have to be a bit weird to go there, that's the name. Strange ways, that's right, where all the prisoners broke up on the roof. Once I was preaching in Liverpool and a man came up to me and he said, that, that's Billy there, that's Paul, that's my mate there because he'd already been in there, you see. Okay, number four, okay. Do you recognise number four? Anyone going by? It's a bit harder now. Number four. It's in Northern Ireland, you're right. If you're a terrorist in Northern Ireland, you would go to this prison. The maze, you're right, it's the maze, this man, he's a brain, you, you should go on who wants to be a millionaire, you might just win it, my friend. Okay, number five here, okay, do you know this one? Now, this is really hard, no one ever gets this one. So we've just had Christmas, what's a, a bird that you might put on Christmas cards? Dove. A dove? A robin, Robin Island. That's where Nelson Man Mandela went. Now, I've asked you, can you recognise any of these famous prisons? Well, here's a question for you. Do you recognise that every single one of us lives inside of a prison? Now, perhaps you, you might say, I would never go there, I've never done any crimes to go there. But every single one of us, there's a prison that we all live inside. We all have chains that carry us. Some people carry the chains of bitterness, you know, someone's really hurt them. Some people carry the chains of addiction. Some people carry the chains of a broken heart. Whatever it is, but you know there's one chain every single one of us has in common, and it's this. It's the chain of death, okay? Right or wrong? 10 out of 10 people die. Is that right or is it wrong? 10 out of 10 people die. 150,000 people die every single day and they all have plans for next week. We're all going to die one day. We all have this prison that we can't get out of except for this man. Jesus said about himself, if the sun sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Now one day I'm gonna die, one day you're gonna die. I've got no hair on my head, which is a sign that I'm dying. It's a sign I'm decaying. Some of us have got wrinkles, some of us have got grey hair, some of us, our knees just don't work the same. We're all going the one way. We're all going the way of the grave. But Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came into this world and he shed his blood. He took all the worst things you've ever done, all the lies, everything you've done, and on the cross he was nailed there so that you could be forgiven. So you put your trust in him, you could be forgiven. He then died, he was buried, and then what happened on the third day? He rose from the dead. And that's what makes Jesus so, so important. If you died, any of you, if you died and then three days later came back from the dead, I'd listen very carefully to what you have to say. And that's why we listen to Jesus when he says, I can set you free. I can give you eternal life. I can wash away all of your sins. If only you'll just come to me. And that's the big question. Will you come? Will you put your trust in the Lord Jesus today? If anyone today would like a portion of the Bible for free, at John's Gospel, I'd love to give that to you take home with you today. You won't get anything free in any of these shops today. And I'm giving you the most precious thing. <laughs> I should be a stand-up comedian, me. <laughs> Would you like one? Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Would you like one?